Hello students, welcome to Srinath Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss the chapter Triangles and its properties. It is from 7th class Max, uh, Max 6, 6th chapter students. So, my name is Karthik Nune. We are creating videos on all chapters and all subje uh, subjects from class 6 to class 12. So, please do subscribe our channel. Also, like and share our videos. So, without wasting time, we are going to start this session, this video. Now, we will see what are the concepts we are going to learn in this present chapter, the triangles and its properties after that we will discuss each topic in detail students okay now in the introduction there is introduction we are going to learn after that what are the medians of a triangle we are going to learn about medians and altitudes of a triangle and next thing is the exterior angle of a triangle and its property so it is one of the property students and next property is about a angle sum property of a triangle so what is the angle sum property of a triangle this is also another property very important you will this properties will uh, this follow you until your education so they are the most beautiful and important property strengths and next thing is about two special triangles equilateral triangle and isosceles triangles we are going to discuss about those two triangles after that we are going to discuss about sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle so if you add lengths of two sides of a triangle what will happen so that is the thing you are going to discuss and next thing is the beautiful thing that is right angle triangles and the Pythagoras property so it is very beautiful students Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras property it will not leave you in the entire your education so it is very beautiful and most used uh, most applicable concept students so these are the things these are the properties and the triangles we are going to learn now students so finally our overview is completed hello students now we will start our discussion that is about the triangles and its properties students so now we know what is our present chapter name students that is triangles and its properties so this is our present chapter name students okay so in this chapter now we are going to study now we know what is a triangle triangle we know triangle have three sides so suppose if this is a triangle a b c so how many sides are it is having a b so how it is having three sides so a b is one side b c is another side c a is another side we know students how to represent a side and line segment and it is also having three angles three angles students so here there is an angle here there is an angle this is the angle so angle a comma angle b comma angle c and one more thing is it is having three vertices how many vertices students three vertices a comma b comma c so it is one vertex so it is another vertex it is another vertex so all these are the different vertices students okay so and we also know about opposite so we also know about the opposite sides of the vertices opposite sides opposite so now i will write here students so vertex opposite side so we know what are vertices and we know what are the opposite sides to the vertex sorry sides suppose if you take a vertex so it is the a vertex student so what is the opposite side to this vertex that is bc so bc is the opposite side students to the vertex a now if you come towards this vertex which is b vertex students if you take b vertex so what is the opposite side it is the opposite side so ac is the opposite side students now coming to the c so to this what is the opposite side so this is the opposite side so the vertex c a b or the a b is the opposite side students why this and this are not opposite sides these two are the adjacent sides these are touching and these are passing through the c vertex so those two will not be the uh, adjacent, uh, opposite side students okay so we have recalled what our previous knowledge is our previous knowledge about triangle is it is having three sides it is having three angles it is having three vertices and we know what is the vertex and what are the opposite sides to a particular vertex so this is all our previous knowledge students so using this you can try these students okay after that what are the medians of a triangle medians so if you want to know or the find out what are the medians of a triangle let us take a triangle suppose if it is a triangle a b c 
so make a triangle with a paper cut uh, this type of triangle using a paper and now what we have to do is fold this triangle fold this triangle so we have to fold along this so this you have to fold then the fold is around here students so we know what is a perpendicular bisector so if you take this side you take this side bc side so if you you have to draw the perpendicular bisector to this side students so what is the perpendicular bisector which means it is perpendicular to this line so it will a like looks like so what is the perpendicular line to this line so this is the perpendicular line to this line and this is also the perpendicular line to the this side students okay and what is the uh, perpendicular bisector means it is perpendicular and it will passes through the midpoint so the to the side bc what is the midpoint it is the midpoint to the side bc and if any line which is passing through the midpoint of the side and which is perpendicular to the side then it is called a perpendicular bisector name that point as the d students so we can do it by uh, finding the midpoint like that or if you want to do, know it simply fold the uh, fold the triangle paper then you will get the around this fold so this is the perpendicular bisector so now you, what you have to do is so from the midpoint from the midpoint of this side to the opposite vertex or the to the vertex so we know this is the vertex and to that vertex bc is the opposite side now what you have to do students we have to draw a line from that vertex to to the opposite side to the opposite side so then this line segment which you have drawn from that vertex to the opposite side we called this as the median length of this as the median students okay it is called median so how you will define it so the line segment the line segment ad joining joining midpoint of bc midpoint of bc to its opposite vertex to its opposite vertex what is its opposite vertex students that is a opposite vertex a is called median we call it as the median median of triangle median so this is one median students you can draw other medians also if you want to draw another medium what you have to do suppose if you want to do a dry median for this side what you have to do you have to find the midpoint and you have to draw a line segment from opposite vertex that is b to this point and if you can draw a median from this vertex also to this side also so you have to find the midpoint of these two and you have to draw a line segment from opposite vertex to this side it looks like like this students so uh, it is not the correct way students so these are not correct students so so i am drawing here students so you can draw okay students so i am telling you if the three medians of a triangle coincide at a point intersect at a point we call that point as the centroid of the triangle students so we will learn it in future classes students further classes so it is the centroid so if we can draw three medians in a triangle and the point of concurrency of the three medians is called the centroid students okay so that is about medians of a triangle next thing is about altitudes so what is altitude students we know height so if you anybody ask you how to find the height how to measure the height or if anybody ask you to measure the height what you will do suppose if there is a gate like this it is a gate like this students uh oh suppose if it is a box students okay it is a box if anybody ask you to find the uh, height of this box what you have to this is the ground so you will measure it's uh, how how height means we will measure from top of this box to box to the ground bottom of this box and measure how much length it is so this length this distance this length you called as the height similarly triangles will also have height so make can cardboard triangle like this and place it on a table and find how much uh, under a 
find how much height it is the give a text from the table so we will try we will measure from the top of a triangle to triangle from the top of triangle that is a point to uh, table okay students table so that length will give rise the height of the triangle so that is nothing but the that height is nothing but the altitude students so if you take a triangle like this a if you take a triangle like this a b c and from the opposite vertex or from the top of the triangle top of the triangle to the opposite side what you have to do you have to draw a perpendicular so which is a straight line so if anybody ask you to find the measure of the height what you will do you will draw a straight line vertical line perpendicular line to the ground you will draw a line perpendicular to the ground straight line in this scenario also we have to from a which is the from the top of the triangle we have to drive perpendicular to the opposite side and this length we can name it as al so on length of al length of line segment line segment al is nothing but the altitude of triangle students what it is altitude of triangle so from the a you may draw another lines also but all these does not gives the height students so all these are not perpendicular all these are not purely vertical so those will not gives the height where uh, height or altitude students why because means if anybody ask you or find out the height you will find it from the top of the object to the ground in a straight line not like this not like this so that is the scenario students so height of a triangle is nothing but the altitude of the triangle strength so now we have understood what is the altitude of triangle next thing is about the properties of triangle strengths here it is the first property that is exterior angle of a exterior angle of a triangle what is the exterior angle of a triangle strengths so this is the one of the property strengths so now what we have to do is suppose draw a triangle like this okay students so this is triangle name it as a b c and and at from vertex c extend it like a ray so this is the point d so what happens we know interior angles angles in a triangle that is angle a angle b angle c and here what happens there is an angle which is exterior angle we can name that angle as angle a c d so that angle is between the two lines the line segments that is a c and c d so here this angle is adjacent to this angle okay students and this angle is opposite to this angle so now for this angle what are the adjacent angles adjacent angle adjacent angle is angle acb acb the angle between ac and cb that is the adjacent angle and to this angle what are the opposite angle so there are two opposite angle students so what are the opposite angles opposite angles are angle a and angle b so why i am writing simply angle m and here writing three letters is we have studied about in the uh, chapter of lines and angles in the chapters of angles how to represent angles chapter okay uh, in that constant so uh, basic you have to follow this if there is no problem of confusion you can simply write this so if you want to write this also in this from how you will write angles a this is angle c a b how you will represent the angle b that is angle a b c and the middle term will represent the where the angle is rot uh, located students okay so this is the contest students okay so we have find out this is the we called it this as the exterior angle and these three are the interior angles and this exterior angle is adjacent to this interior angle and this exterior angle is opposite to these two angle students okay now what will you do now what you can do is now cut out this angle a, angle a and angle b or trace the this angle with a trace copy paper angle a and angle b and what we have to do is we have to just trace these two angles and place these two angles at the this exterior angle side by side you have to trace this like this you have to trace and here it is also like this no we have to trace and you have to place these two things around here so what you will observe is so whenever you are placing these two angles at here so these two angles will adjust here and there will be no space left so which means this exterior angle is equals to the sum of these two angles 
this exterior angle is equal to the sum of these two angles so you will observe that angle acd sorry angle acd is equal to angle a plus angle b you will observe this by tracing a trace copy and applying it so this is the thing student so finally as done now you can do as done earlier i'll draw a triangle abc and form an extra area angle acd now take a protractor and measure the angles so now what you can do is if you are not uh, clear or if you are not having that much of belief what i am telling take a protractor take a protractor and what you have to do measure the measure measure the angle acd you have to measure what is the angle here you know how to use protractor and how to measure and what you have to again measure angle a comma angle b now again measure angle a and angle b now uh, just to verify that uh, verify and add these two angles and finally you will get that uh, this angle is equal to these two angles so at this point of uh, time you will know that that this exterior angle is equal to sum of the opposite interior angles trends so finally what is our conclusion is that an exterior angle an exterior angle of a triangle an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the is equal to the sum of its interior interior opposite angles opposite angles so this is the final conclusion students so this is the one of the property of triangles the exterior angle is equal to sum of interior angles simply exterior angle is equal to sum of in sum of interior angles sum of so that angle a plus angle b like that if you take here that exterior angle angle a cd is equal to angle a plus angle b students so that is the thing here okay students yeah finally we have uh, so we can prove it in another way also students that is uh, which we have learned in the previous class previous chapter so what is the another thing students here is another method so if you want to find the angle at acd just try a line parallel to this ab you have to draw a parallel line to this ab at this point so these two becomes what these two becomes parallel lines what is this here this is a b and this is a and this will becomes like this c it is a e so we know from previous chapter whenever there are two parallel lines and two parallel lines if there is a transversal what is our previous learning that alternate interior angles are equal so here the interior angles are this and this so these two angles are equal so angle a is equal to here angle a so where it is basically so at angle a c d here some here it is angle a the x equal to angle a now this is one diagram now if you take another diagram uh, another diagram is again again what happened this angle is this angle is equal to this angle students similar to this also this angle will equals to this angle students so finally what we can say that angle a plus angle b equal to angle cad according to the previous chapter knowledge students okay interior alternating angle angles are equal and corresponding angles are equal if you see here here there is an angle now So these two are what students? These two are corresponding angles. So here this is angle B. So finally this is angle B. Why? Because corresponding angles. These are internal angles. So finally this angle is equal to angle A plus angle B. This is the thing students. So these are the proofs. I have given you three proofs students. So finally exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles. Not you have to add these two. You have to add opposite angles next thing is about students that is angle sum property of triangle so this is another property students that is angle sum property so what you have to do first take a triangle okay students take a triangle that is angle a b a b c like that so you can uh, name the angles here the angle is one here the angle is three here the angle is two so now what you have to do is so cut out these angles this angle this angle this angle or otherwise play or take the trace copy of this angle and you have to make um, place all these angles suppose if you are taking this angle 
that is angle 3 and place this angle angle 1 and place this angle so whenever you are placing side by side these three angles then you will get there will be a straight line so we know that whenever there is a straight line what is the straight angle straight angle is 180 degrees so if you add these three angles you are getting 180 degrees so we can write angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degrees so this is one proof so if you want to take another proof now what we have to do is uh, draw a triangle like this and uh, take uh, same copies copies of triangle like this so finally draw three or cut out or draw three similar triangles three similar triangles it's not similar same triangles so those my angles must be equal and now after taking all these things what you have to do you have to arrange all these like that like that at one place third angle is comes and another place first angle is comes and another place two angles come so if you see that all these angles will becomes again 180 degrees so this is also another proof students okay so this is also another proof so there is another proof for by a uh, one hour proof is uh, now what we have to do is take the protractor so now take the another uh, triangle abc take the protractor and find what is the angle here and find what is the angle here and find what is the angle here and add all these three angles angle a plus angle b plus angle c using the protractor you will get that the answer is 180 degrees so finally what is our conclusion is students therefore the total measure of total measure of measure of of th of three angles three angles of a triangle of a triangle equals to 180 degrees students so this is the conclusion students okay so if you want to prove it we can prove it also so how we can prove it how we can prove it here there is a method students so basically he is the first angle second angle third angle it is the fourth angle which is the exterior angle students okay we know we know what exterior angle this is equals to sum of these two angles so we can replace this as the angle 1 plus angle 2 why because angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 and angle 4 plus angle 3 equal to 180 degrees we know it why because this 4 and this are equal to 180 degrees and angle 4 is angle 1 so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equal to 180 degrees so this is another proof student so finally what is our conclusion total measure of all the angles in your interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees so finally you have completed this topic also students so i have discussed so many concepts in this video students hello students now we will discuss some of the topics in this chapter students so here there is the two special triangles what are the two special triangle students those are equilateral and one is equilateral triangle equi lateral triangle and another thing is isosceles triangle what is students isosceles triangle now we are going to discuss about these two triangles so first thing is equilateral triangle students so what is an equilateral triangle students so i will explain you clearly so if we, a triangle in which all sides are equal all side lengths are equal all sides are equal length all sides are equal length we call it as equilateral triangle suppose if you take a triangle students that is a b c if length of a b is equal to length of b c equal to length of c a then we say the triangle is the equilateral triangle students okay if you want it find first find the measure uh, if, if if you want to know find the measure measure this side length and measure this side length, measure this side length. observe all these are equal then we can say that triangle is a equilateral triangle students so uh, in, in equilateral triangle what is the thing students all sides are equal and one more thing is students that all angles are 60 degrees all angles are 60 degrees students so angle a angle b and angle c all are equal to 60 degrees friends so this is about equilateral triangle friends now we will discuss about isosceles triangle friends what it is isosceles so what is an isosceles triangle friends so suppose 
सपोज वाट हेपन इन ए ट्रयांगि इफ टू सैड आर्कवल टू सैड आर्कवल लेंथ टू सैड आर्कवल लेंथ देन वी से द ट्रयांगि इज ईक्वल सपोज इफ यू टेक ए ट्रयांगि लाइक दिस एक्स वाई जेड इन दिस ट्रयांगि इफ एक्स वाई इज ईक्वल टू एक्स जेड दीज टू सैड आर्कवल लेंथ देन वी से दट दिस ट्रयांगि इज एन Uh, this triangle is an isosceles triangle student so in an isosceles triangle and uh, and now if you fold this triangle student such that y coincides with z then what happens it is fold along this line and this is the uh, symmetry line we know about it it will fold along this line this is the symmetry line so uh, whenever you are folding it so you will coincide it with so you will get that these two sides are lengths are equal and uh, here there are two angles that is angle y and angle z so these angles are what so these are the base angles base angles okay students so and and yz is a base yz is a base and angle y comma angle z are base angles so in an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle what are the things you have to remember students Nice one, so first thing is two sides are equal, which means two sides are having equal length, students. And one more thing you have to remember is that students base angles. Here we have discussed about two base angles. No base angles opposite to what are those students opposite to equal sides. Here what are the equal sides? This is the equal side and this is the equal side. to these two sides what is the opposite side this is the side so this is the base and what are the angles here these are the base angles so these are the base angles which are opposite to these two sides so those base angles are those base angles are equal base angles opposite to equal sides are equal or equal students okay equal they are not base angles so in an isosceles triangle these two sides are equal and opposite angles Uh, to these two sides or these two angles base angles are also equal students that you have to remember in the isosceles triangle equilateral triangle is all sides are equal all angles are 60 degrees isosceles triangle is two sides are equal and two angles opposite to these two sides are equal next thing is about sum of lengths of two sides of a triangle students what it is sum of lengths of two sides of a triangle triangle suppose friends in your playground mark three points and draw a triangle like this a b c and starting from a starting from a just you start a game with your friends uh, starting from a you have to travel through b to reach c and your friend can reach a directly through c and who will reaches the first who will reaches the first so if you observe if you walk walk along this direction this direction it takes more time for along this direction your friend reaches quickly so you know that this is the traveling from this a to b and b to c is very large so that is a to p plus b to c so the distance from a to b and b to c is very very high high when compared to distance from a to c so for that reason only your friend has reached in a short time your friend has been in the game so what is the thing students we have observed if you you have put it the uh, in that initial point is a and final point is c even though if you change the initial and final point suppose if you uh, if you take initial point as b and final point is c and you have started uh, started your journey from b to c directly and your friend has to just reach the c through a that is like that so in this case also what happens the b to c you will reach fast and from b to a to c it takes time so this length is greater than the this length so what you will observe is in a triangle ab plus bc is greater than ac and ba plus ac is greater than bc and if you start take a as the starting point and c as the ending point so if you you if you move in this direction and your friend have to move through the b then cb plus ba is also greater than c a students so in finally what is our conclusion is in a triangle sum of lengths of 
टू साइड्स टू साइड्स इज ग्रेटर देन ग्रेटर देन लेंथ ऑफ अदर साइड लेंथ ऑफ थर्ड साइड ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेंथ ऑफ थर्ड साइड so that is the thing you have to remember should so in a triangle if you add lengths of two sides it is greater than the length of the other side third side students so this is the thing if you want to check it you can check by another method also suppose take three random triangles and using the scale uh, just measure the ab bc and ca values and uh, uh, each side in the three triangles and what you have to do is what you have to do is add ab and bc For, for, in the first case, add A, B, and B, C, and and find the A, C. Observe whether A, B plus B, C, A, B plus B, C, uh, plus A, B. Suppose A, B plus B, C is greater than um, C or not, like that. This is one procedure. And another thing is now uh, you have to subtract the lengths. So you have find out the A, B, B, C, C, A like that, and all these lengths. Now you have to subtract the length of two sides. and you observe that uh, what you will observe is that that the when you are you are separating the lengths of two sides the third length is greater than the difference of the two lengths and if it is true i have to measure it yes if it is false you have to take it as no and you have to what you have to do and you have to add two lengths and compare with the another length okay students like that if you do like that what is your conclusion so what i have previously told that uh some of the lengths of two sides is greater than third side even though if you subtract the two lengths the difference of two lengths is less than the third side so what is the thing students what is the thing students difference of length of lengths of two sides is smaller than smaller than third side third side suppose if it is the triangle student c a b c if you find a b minus b c then you will get that is less than c a even if you change the things also suppose if you take instead of a b minus b c if you take b c minus c a that is less than a b if you instead of taking if you take c a minus a b it is also less than b c that is the thing students so this is about differences and this is about some students okay so next thing is it is the most beautiful thing students that is right angled triangle right angled triangle and hy and pythagorean theorem students and pythagorean and pythagorean property pythagoras property pythagoras property so it is important students you have to learn it okay students suppose what is a right angled triangle students right angled triangle if any angle in a triangle is 90 degrees if any angle if any angle in a triangle if any angle is equal to 90 degrees so this is a triangle in this triangle this angle is 90 degrees so we call this as the right angled triangle students so uh, in this triangle pythagoras what pythagoras is a greek philosopher students in the 6th century students so he is a great uh, mathematician he has given some property regarding the right angles uh, right angle triangle students so it is named upon his uh, uh, name students that is pythagorean prop pythagoras property or the pythagoras theorem students so according to this theorem what happening students so before to know the theorem we have to suppose if it is an uh, right angled triangle in this right angle the sides have some name students so the side which is uh, so side which is opposite to the right angle is called as hypotenuse hypotenuse and remaining two sides are we call remaining two sides as legs what is hypotenuse students hypotenuse hypotenuse nothing but the side opposite to opposite to 90 degrees angle angle and remaining uh, remaining sides are the legs students so what he has told in this uh, uh, in this case students that uh, if you take that hypotenuse uh, length as a and this length as b and this length as c what he has told is that 
a square equal to b square plus c square students what does this students hypotenuse length of hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equal to side uh, leg square plus leg square length of one leg square plus length of another leg square students so another uh, frequently what is uh, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of sides squares of sides sides so square of the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is equal to sum of squares of sides students so it is the hypotenuse it has a length and if the tail length is a if you square it that value will be equals to the square of this value plus square of this value students okay that is the thing students so if you want to know practically you now what we have to do is make ident uh, make a, so what we have to do is make eight identical copies of a right angle triangle of any size students now what we have to do is make eight uh, right angle triangle students so a b c like that we have to make eight triangles so all are having the same lens all are having the same lens and next thing is we have to make uh, two squares two squares so two squares what is the length of the each side we know if it is a square now what is the length of each side students length length l l no so you have to make two squares and the length of each side in a square is b plus c and here and here you have made it a right angle triangle whose side length is b like side length is b and c and i put news a you have to remember it students so here you have made the right angle triangle whose i put news a legs are b and c so using the sum of b and c lengths we have to form it uh, form a square like this so finally square is having the side length of b plus c b plus c at any side it is having length of b plus c so you have to make two squares like this so these are the two square strands here this side is b plus c 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 so in this uh, square what we have to do is we have to fit these eight uh, th you have to fit uh, four triangles in one uh, square and four triangles in another square so if you have fitted these four triangles in this square these are looks like and if you fit the another four triangles in another square these are looks like now now there is a square here and there are two squares here so both the both the areas are so in this case what happens both the squares are same squares are same identical so both the area so therefore area of both squares squares are equal which means square a square a area of square a is equal to area of square b students okay and one more thing is there are four triangles in it and four triangles having the same side lengths therefore the under four triangles are identical here also four triangles these four triangles are all the identical so uh, area of all triangles is same so here there are four triangles in it so it will occupy some area so how we can write the square area of square a is equal to area of square b we know it so area of square a in the square what happens there are four triangles and one square so area of four triangles plus this total square area equals to the area of the four triangles and area of a square there is a square in it and whose length is a whose length is a okay students so that must be equals to the here also there are four triangles now so this total area of the square must be equals to how much students so what are the things in it here it is having four triangles area of four triangles and both four triangles are similar to it four triangles plus we have to add and there are two squares so area of square okay student area of square whose length is c and another thing is another area of square whose length is b okay students 
so the area of total square equal to area of the these four triangles and area of these two triangles so we know from left hand side and left hand side these four triangles and these four triangles are same so we can uh, cancel out there so what is the unoccupied area this area of square area is which is the unoccupied area so finally what is the area of this square we know each side is a then area is a square that is equal to here in this case we are having two squares so one side one square is having area uh, one square side length is c so area is c square plus another square side length is b here is c square b square so finally a square equal to b square equal to c square we have proved it so this is the hypotenuse theorem we have discussed here so finally hypotenuse theorem is this students in a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square square equal to side square side square plus e now in a right angle triangle simply i am writing students in a right angle the triangle triangle hypotenuse square hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square if suppose if you take this as a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle if this is the a and this is the b and this is the c then a square is equal to b square plus c square students okay this is the hypotenuse these are the side students so this is the conclusion student so in the right angle triangle c is hypotenuse square equal to b square plus c square so one more thing is that students there is a triangle whose hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square then that triangle must be a maybe or must be a right angle triangle students converse are of both things here possible so finally our chapter is completed students our chapter is completed hello students now we will discuss the summary of this chapter students that is triangles and its properties so we know triangle it has three sides three angles three vertices and we know the what are the opposite sides to the vertices next thing is medians of a triangle so the line segment which is joining the vertex to the uh, midpoint of the opposite side or the the line segment which is joining the midpoint uh, midpoint to the uh, opposite vertex is called the median students next thing is altitude altitude is nothing but the height of a triangle students so from top of a triangle or from one vertex to the opposite side perpendicular uh, perpendicular line to the opposite side is the length is called the altitude of triangle students next thing is exterior angle of a triangle so in a triangle students the exterior angle is equals to the an exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of its interior opposite angle students the next thing is angle sum property students according to it the total measure of all three angles of a triangle equal to 180 degrees students next thing is equilateral triangle students in equilateral triangle all sides are equal equal students all sides are equal and all angles are 60 degree students isosceles triangle means in the triangle two sides are equal students so two side lengths are equal and base angles opposite to equal sides are also equal students next thing is if you in a triangle in a triangle what happens students sum of lengths of two sides is greater than the length of third side students and in a triangle difference of lengths of two sides is small Smaller than the third side students and next thing is the right angle triangle students in right angle triangle one angle is 90 degree students and the side opposite to 90 angle 90 degrees is the hypotenuse students and remaining are the legs students and in the high in a, in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equal to side square length plus side square or leg square length plus leg square like these students that is a square equal to b square plus c square students okay finally our chapter is completed students our summary is also completed hope you have understood well so if you have any doubts please feel free to comment below have a nice day don't forget to subscribe shina the academy youtube channel also like and share our videos also follow on instagram and join our telegram channel students so have a nice day keep smiling bye bye students